Welcome to the Bio Whisperer channel. Our topic today is on a perspective overview of the traditional medical practices and its impacts. If you are new here, we are a group of retired professors sharing bite-sized videos in life sciences. Let's dive into the topic for today. The premise of traditional medical practices reside in core principles such as the mind and the body being inseparable. To prevent ill health, it is important for the maintenance of balance between the spiritual and the physical self. There are various traditional ethnic systems which have existed since the start of civilization, and they include traditional Chinese medicine, traditional Japanese medicine or Kampo, as it is normally termed, as well as traditional Korean medicine. Besides these, there are also the traditional Indian medicine or Ayurveda, traditional Iranian medicine, as well as many others around the world. Naturopathy, also called naturopathic medicine, is a form of healthcare that combines modern treatment with traditional methods. This medical system, that has evolved from a combination of traditional practices and healthcare approaches popular in Europe during the 19th century. Naturopathy focuses on the body's capacity to heal itself and this helps to prevent health problems. Naturopathic practitioners use many different treatment approaches which includes alternative, natural therapies to modern medicine, such as dietary and lifestyle changes, stress reduction, manipulative therapies, practitioner-guided detoxification, psychotherapy and counseling. Homeopathy, or homeopathic medicine, is a medical philosophy and practice based on the idea that the body has the ability to heal itself. Homeopathy was founded in the late 1700s in Germany and has been widely practiced throughout Europe. Homeopathic medicine views symptoms of illness as normal responses of the body as it attempts to regain health. A homeopathic health practitioner, homeopath, uses pills or liquid mixtures, solutions, containing only a little of an active ingredient, usually a plant or mineral, for treatment of disease. These are known as highly diluted or potentiated substances, and it is believed that in theory, a homeopathic dose enhances the body's normal healing and self-regulatory processes. There are some key advantages associated with traditional medicinal practice. It is time-tested and proven safe and supported with abundant clinical experience over time. With much being known about the diversity of chemical structures including secondary metabolites, and coupled with a better understanding of the biological activities of multi-component herbal extracts in humans. Some of the promising traditional medicine therapies could eventually open up potential drug leads or candidates for further pharmacological characterization or commercialization. Herbal medicines are those with active ingredients made from plant parts, such as leaves, roots or flowers. Just like conventional medicines, herbal medicines will have an effect on the body and can be potentially harmful if not used correctly. The risks of obtaining fake, substandard, unlicensed or contaminated medicines are increased by buying herbal products online which may contain banned ingredients and toxic substances. Listed are some examples of plants used in herbal therapy and it includes the calendula plant with the scientific name of the calendula officinalis, as well as the lemon balm with the scientific name Melissa officinalis. Rosemary also known as Rosmarinus officinalis by its scientific name as well as mullein leaves scientifically termed as the Vibascum thapsus are also examples of herbal therapies used. Supernatural healing is an umbrella term for a family of treatment methods which are based upon mysticism or claimed revelations rather than the empirical evidence which is the foundation of scientific medicine. Often the traditional healer provides health care services based on culture, religious background, knowledge, attitudes, and beliefs that are prevalent in his community. Illness is regarded as having both natural and supernatural causes and thus must be treated by both physical and spiritual means, using divination, incantations, 
animal sacrifice, exorcism, and herbs. Biofield therapies are defined as approaches which work directly with the subtle energy field that surround the body. The subtle energy system is made up of three components, meridians, chakras, and the biofield or aura. The biofield is a large field of energy that surrounds and extends out from the body about eight feet. No part of the energy system is visible to the human eye but the biofield can be felt with the hands, often through either pressure or temperature changes. In biofield therapy, most practitioners approach the process with an intention to serve the highest good of the client. Biofield therapies are often used for stress reduction and overall physical, mental, and emotional health improvement. Whilst there are forms of biofield healing such as Reiki, healing touch, and therapeutic touch, biofield therapies are dynamic and not linear in nature so they are accessible to a wide variety of individuals and their values and wellness needs. Historically, these therapies have been less researched, but the research has been growing in recent years and many therapies have begun to be used in hospitals and other health care settings to support conventional medical treatment. Taken together, biofield therapies are a gentle but powerful form of healing that can be an asset to integrative health and wellness. As research progresses on the various biofield therapies, it would benefit counselors to become aware of how they can support mental health treatment. Chiropractic care is an alternative form of medicine that takes a different path than traditional medicine. Traditional medicine focuses on dealing with the symptoms of illness once it has already begun. Chiropractic treatment focuses on preventative care to keep the body healthy so that illness does not begin. If there is illness or pain present, chiropractic treatment focuses on treating the root of the problem and not simply the symptoms. Chiropractic treatment also focuses on the body as a whole unit rather than simply treating one part or one problem. With this approach, you can enjoy overall health and well-being. Traditional medicine occupies a very important place in health care in the world in general. Globally, countries should establish the necessary institutional and financial support to promote the potential role of herbal medicine in primary health care delivery. In fact there are ongoing efforts towards establishing local botanical gardens for the preservation of essential medicinal herbal plants in different parts of each country, in order to ensure a sustainable supply of safe, effective and affordable medicinal herbs. We hope you have enjoyed our sharing and see you in the next video. We would thank you for helping to share your love for this science channel by clicking the like button and subscribe for future updates.